Hey, what's up guys? Oz here using the Scorpion Evo with silencer and laser sight attachments. I'm trying to level it up so I can get extended mags. Uh, I'll probably put a video out once I unlock that and uh, try to get a gameplay with it. To be honest, you don't need laser sight, but I'm trying to use it just to get a little more XP, level this bad boy up. Laser sight's really good when you first start using the SMGs. Uh, I used it a lot when the game first came out, but I've kind of got accustomed to how these weapons handle. The amount of bullets it takes to kill somebody, and uh, I've kind of got used to the route, so now I kind of know when someone should be coming around a corner. So I don't, I don't need to uh, panic hip fire. So all these bums out there that are still using laser sights and just hip firing the whole game, um, you know, don't be like them. You don't need to do that. It's a very cheap tactic. I've used, I've used it extensively, obviously. And, uh, it's, yeah, it goes, it goes nuts, man. But um, I feel it's kind of cheap. Anyways, this is on the map drone. Drone, I want to give you guys some tips. You tend to want to stay out of the control room building area. What I like to do is I like to flank around this back path because it's it's generally when you're running in there, it's in between about two spawn points. Like there's a spawn point right here where I'm I'm about to jump down. They usually spawn here when it flips, uh, and then when you get an opportunity to flank, I like to flank either through this building or on the far right, depending you know if we have a UAV up and I can see that they're not going to be uh, head glitching the the concrete back there. And then I'll usually try to push that right side, try to get up in the spawn. I don't like flanking through the left side through the building. It's very high risk. Uh, it can be rewarding. I've had many triple and quad sprays on snipers. I just camp up there and snipe. But um, yeah, you generally want to try to make it over here to the staircase to get up here. I make the mistake. I saw the red dot up there. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have let my teammate come through. And look what I get killed by. I don't know what it is about those damn target finders, dude. People seriously sit in the back of their spawn they don't move they're using target finders just to get one cheap measly kill let me tell you guys something man you do not need to camp in this game campers in black ops 2 are punished and they're punished horribly the game is built for objective play now i've heard many people say you need to play passive but that doesn't mean you need to camp like it's modern warfare 2 in black ops 1 that stuff doesn't fly in black ops 2 guys Whenever, if I play with any of you subs, you will hear me tell you all the time, don't camp. If you play with me and you camp, you won't play with me very long because I'm going to get end up getting a new party. Camping in, in uh, Black Ops 2 just is not rewarded. If someone's camping on the other team, you know what I say? They're camping because we're not rushing. If you consistently rush in this game... You consistently push in, your team flips the spawn, enemy team has no time to set up. That's how Black Ops is played. Before, you didn't get any points for, uh, that, you know, before you didn't get any points for capping flags, but now you do. So it's beneficial for you to go in and flip spawns. Normally, I would say never three cap, but in this game, you actually want to three cap. I mean, if you're trying to get high scores, and yeah, I can say, all right, you know, let them have a flag, let the game drag on, because if you cap all three flags, you're going to reach 200 points before the 10 minutes is up, and then you're going to end up having to try to go for a really nice game in, you know, eight, eight and a half minutes. So yeah, it's okay to push in. If you play with me, let's push the spawns. I tell that to my teammates all the time. Push the spawns, push the spawns, run in there with me. It's so hard to run up into the enemy spawn solo. And right here, I saw the dragon fire up, and because I know there's a spawn point back here, I figured the dragon fire would kill some of them, and then they would start spawning over here, which they did. I ended up getting my VSAT, and um, as you can see, I'm in the dead center of their spawn. Like I said, I like to stay away from the building. I like to patrol this... Uh, area back here by the tankers because there is a spawn point behind me they spawn in the corner and then there's a very very major spawn right here in the back and this is why I like using warthog in this map as well um, I didn't at the time I didn't have dogs or swarm unlocked so I was using the warthog with the lodestar lodestar is really good on this map I would try to stay away from the uh, the VTOL warship on this one because it does tend to have it does have a tendency to get shot down a lot of people run uh, the stingers they have a lot of time to set up like this guy right here as I snipe him <laughs> He has time to set up so they can shoot down your your air support Warthog I don't I'm not sure you can actually shoot down uh, right here get a capture kill But Warthog I'm not sure you can actually shoot those down I see a lot of people try but it still ends up getting me five to ten kills every time uh, ends up going really beast this game I'm gonna show you guys this load star because the load star goes absolutely crazy. 15 kills with this bad boy, and this just goes to show the benefits of playing the objective. You guys saw in the beginning of the match, 
I was pushing spawns, I was rushing, I was trying to get in the enemy spawn. I didn't really have any teammates with me. I end up getting killed by a camper and um, I get pissed off. So what do I do? I just kind of, I try to flank through the building. I meet resistance at the doorway and that's another thing too is if you're going to push through the building try to go to the two story jump down the ladder and push through the middle of the spawn to get to the right side try not to push through the left side of that building because the enemies will wait on you they just sit on the top of the hill and they wait for you to come out of the doorway and that's why you saw me camping so much earlier in early on in the match but my load star ends up building me directly into another vsat pull out the sniper rifle dsr from the waist up it's a one hit kill Clear all those guys off the flag, and there you go. Have another Warthog and another Low Star. Call the Warthog in, call the Low Star in. At this point, the enemies are pretty much just backing out, though. So that's one of the downfalls of some of these killstreaks being really, really strong is that so many people leave the game. I'm hoping that they do come out with some sort of patch to fix that. Uh, so that way, they'll start, you know, bringing new players into the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. That's Drone, and um, that's the Scorpion Evo. Peace.